love bombing is essentially giving you a bunch of compliments or um, kind words that are vague, keyword vague, keyword vague, right? In order to get you into an emotional state so that, right, they can manipulate you. And obviously, when we talk about guys and manipulating you, why would they want to manipulate you? Well, they want to get inside you. Let's be for real, okay? They want to get inside you, right? Because they understand, and this relates back to, the more you guys watch my class, you'll realize that a lot of the stuff I talk about is all related to each other. And this is how it relates to the Disney princess movie syndrome, right? And your Wattpad stories and your smart books, right, that you be reading, because you read those books, right? And you start to project onto your own life that the man of your dreams is going to be like the men that you read in Wattpad and in Smut, right? And that you see on your Disney princess movies, right? And what ends up happening is you want that so badly, right? Because that's a fantasy. That's a fantasy. That's a fantasy. That's a fantasy. You want that so badly that you end up, these men that come into your life and love bomb you, make you feel, make you feel, make you feel like they are your Prince Charming, like they are your knight in shining armor, like they are your mafia boss from your favorite Wattpad story, like they are your boss slash coworker from your favorite smut book, right? Right. And because you get that feeling because of how much they they say, oh, my God, you're so beautiful. Your ass is so fat. You're so voluptuous. You've got huge titties. Look how you look in them jeans, girl. Your ass so big. I can't get enough of you. I just right. And they make you feel they make you feel so desired that you can't get in that they can't get enough of you. Right. In reality, it's not really about anything more then making, feeding your ego, right? Feeding your ego, right? That will make you feel more attached to them simply because they're affirming you. Do you understand what I'm saying? And that girl, thank you for the corgi. So the two things we're going to discuss, obviously we're going to discuss love bombing, but we're also going to discuss how to stop love bombing from affecting you mentally, right? And, and someone even said, and then they take it away. Aline said, and then they take it away. Of course, because the love bombing is only the love bombing only works and is a function of your um, desire to be desired, right? Your desire for someone to come into your life, right? To for someone to come into your life and represent the Prince Charming that you've that you've seen on your Disney princess movies to represent the amazing mafia boss that, you know, loves and does crazy things for you that you read in your Wattpad story. OK, you want that to be your life. And so when a guy comes to you and makes you feel that passion and that love and that he like he has that charisma and he just desires you so much, you get so caught up in that that you don't realize it's just a facade to get into your pants. Okay. Or your sundress or whatever you're wearing. Okay. Right. And I'm not saying not to say every guy that compliments you doesn't mean it. L listen to what I'm saying, okay? Because life is about balance. I'm not saying every guy that compliments you doesn't mean it or is just trying to get in your pants. Although we know why he's complimenting you. Let's be for real. Scent cake. Th or sorry, scent cake. Um, Amul, thank you for the cake. Thank you for the gift, right? I'm not saying that every guy that compliments you, right? is just trying to manipulate you and love bomb you. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is the guys that are going over the top with it, and you know the guys that are going over the top with it, you know the guys that are being disingenuous. Uh, I forget who it was that gave that amazing like SAT word, disingenuous, right? You know the guys that are being disingenuous about it, going over the top and giving you vague compliments. That's why I talked about it. I don't know if it was yesterday's live or the live before. <laughs> That's why I talked about um, asking the question about the level of interest he has in you to get a better understanding of, is he interested in 
you for real? Like, does he actually notice the qualities or character traits about you that would be good to make his wife? Or is he just giving you vague compliments because he knows it'll make it easier for him to get into your pants? And I talked about a great question to ask um, to gain, to get a better understanding and gauge on his level of interest in you, right? And what he actually sees in you. And that's how it relates to this, because you can avoid being love bombed or have a better understanding of if you're being love bombed when you're asking those particular types of questions, when you're making him follow up and not just be vague and say, oh, I think you look amazing. I think you're so pretty. I think you're so beautiful. There's only so many times a guy can repeat over and over again. You're so beautiful. You're so um amazing you're so pretty before it gets to like okay bro like i get it i get that you think that like that's amazing but like do you see anything more than that even if you say i'm pretty is there any specific qualities about my looks that you're that you're seeing or you're just gonna continue saying all this vague stuff you know what i mean and you can even tell even when it comes to the the physical compliments of you you can tell when a guy's complimenting you physically because they're admiring you or just complimenting you physically to just throw something at you to feed your ego and they don't even really care about it right like you can tell when a guy's like oh my god like you have the most deep blue bluish greenish eyes i can just i just feel like i'm swimming in an ocean um, of depth, the way your eyes just like look at me, I can just fall into your eyes forever or whatever. Versus a guy who says, "Uh, yeah, you're you're cute, you're 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 mad pretty, you're hella pretty, yeah, you're you're so beautiful, you're, you're the most beautiful ever." Right? Like those are two different type of compliments, right? So that's why I say I don't want you to think that any guy who compliments you ever is just using that to love bomb you. But I also don't want you, I also want you to be able to identify when someone is just over and over again giving you all these vague compliments, not really meaning anything, not really having any meaning behind it, right? Just talking to talk. And you can feel that, right? You can feel that. I think that girl said it earlier. She's so good and she's she's so good in the chat. She said it earlier. Um, um, your intuition can tell when, when someone is just, is kind of faking being into you. How many of you have been in a, a relationship or in a situation where you feel like the guy is faking being into you? Like you almost feel like he's trying to convince you that he's more into you than he actually is, right? Let me know if that's ever happened to you or you've been in a relationship like that where you feel like someone is faking their interest in you. Like they're, like, it seems like they're trying to convince you that they're interested in you. It, there's a difference between holding back and someone who is faking their interest, right? Or trying to make you feel like they're more interested in you, right? Because when they're trying to make you feel like they're more interested in you than they actually are, they're generally going to go over the top, right? And you're going to see the thing about it is when it comes to love bombing, you're going to feel it in your own heart and in your own intuition, your own gut, all the stuff around here, you're going to feel it in. Um, that this does not feel right, right? You're going to feel like there is a lack of depth to your relationship and your connection that is, and, and, and the amount of connection is, uh, that they, he is pretending to have with you feels manufactured, right? Right. That girl says, if you focus on yourself and strengthen your intuition, you'll see right through all the BS. And I agree, which is why part of a lot of what I, what I preach, what I, what I talk to you guys about is about bettering yourself and having a better understanding of what makes you happy and brings you happiness outside of just being in a relationship. Because these are part of the things that will stop you from being so desperate for the validation and the attention that you accept anything from anyone. Because the guys, while they... <laughs> While the guys might not be so emotionally um, intelligent enough to actively go out there and say, this girl, I'm going to manipulate like this with this technique and this technique by saying this to her and saying that to her at exactly this time and that time in this way and in this manner. They might not be that emotionally intelligent to actually go out and do that purposely, but they're intelligent enough emotionally to be able to feel out a situation with a girl and in the process of getting to know her, realize, oh, this is a girl that's super needy, super desperate for attention, super desperate for validation. So I know I can use that to my advantage to get what I want from her. In the process of him knowing you, 
guys are going to feel you out and guys are going to get an understanding of, is this someone I can manipulate because they're so desperate for the attention and so desperate for the validation. So the reason I always talk to you guys about improving yourself and focusing on what your needs are and focusing on what your wants are and focusing on what you desire, right? And what makes you happy is because that will bring into you confidence that allows you to go out into your relationships and not be affected by that. Part of the work that you put into yourself, part of the um, devotion and consistency and effort you put into figuring out what brings you happiness will also help you stop going out into the world and being so desperate for your Prince Charming to come save you that you start to feel like, oh, any guy that compliments you, oh my God, like this is my Prince Charming, this is the guy that's going to save me, this is the guy that's going to do it. Right? And it's so important to get an understanding of that right? So that you can fix that and adjust that. And you're not going out into your relationships desperate, right? You're not going out on these dates, desperate for a compliment, desperate for the validation, desperate for the attention, right? Because the moment a guy gives it to you, what happens now you're now you're also ready to give him whatever he wants from you, right? Or you're easily convinced that because right? He's complimenting you. That must mean he loves you. That must mean he he's attached to you. That must mean he wants to be in a relationship with you. No, no, no. He can compliment you without necessarily wanting to be in a relationship with you. And I know it sounds silly when I'm saying it now, I'll be like, of course, but it's hard to uh, feel that way when you're getting bombarded with these compliments from these guys and he's gassing your head up and filling up your ego. When he comes up to you at the party, he's like, Oh my God, you know, your, your smile so pretty girl. Like you got the, you got the most beautiful smile. Like I can't even believe it. When I saw you across the room, you was just walking by and I was just like from the corner of my eye. And I just seen your, your the way your ass just fit in those jeans, girl. And you just walk by and I just love it. I just wanted to, I just wanted to slap your little, your, your big ass booty. You know what I mean? And the way you just, you just, you got that figure girl. Like, I can't believe you, you a Victoria's secret model. Or what is it with you? Like, you must be a Victoria's secret model. Like, I ain't even know, like you had it like that. Like the way you just fitting in that, like, I can't even believe it. You walking around here, like you, that girl, like he's gassing up your head. You know what I mean? You see how, you see how easy it is for someone to make you feel good. You know what I mean? Just by the compliments that they, they just keep going and going and you're sitting there like, oh yeah, tell me again. What was it you said about my ass? Say it again one more time. How is it shaped? What is it? What is the shape like? What'd you say? My waist is so small. My waist is so what? I look like a Victoria's Secret model. What? Like on the runway or, you know, like what, which, what kind of Victoria's Secret model? Oh, I should be in magazines. What kind of magazines? Like Vogue? Like Vogue? Yeah, yeah. And you just get, you just get riled up. You know what I mean? Right? And it can become an addiction right? It can become an addiction. It can become addicting to hear a guy talk to you about how amazing you are and feed you all these compliments, right? Because that's validation, right? And let's not pretend like as human beings, we don't love validation. And the less validation and confidence you have in yourself, the more you'll seek that from other people, the more you're seeking that from other people, the harder it will be to control yourself when you're getting a lot of that validation from other people, right? Because the moment that guy starts talking to you like that, you're going to be like, damn, maybe I am a Victoria's Secret model. You're going to fall. You're, you're not even going to be in love with him, right? You're going to be in love with the, with the way he talks to you and the way he boosts your ego. Aline says, oh yeah, put me on your lock screen. A guy could do that. He'd be like, damn, you know, girl, you look so good. I got to put you on my lock screen that you got that big fat ass. I just want to, I just want to see it. Right. And he got you on his lock screen, right? Like, he's, girl, look how you be looking on here, bro. You you just so amazing. You like a model girl. Duh, 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 right. Just keeps feeding it. Just keeps feeding it. Just keeps feeding it. Right. And I'm not saying that, like I say, listen to what I'm saying. I'm not saying that say any guy that sends you any type of lock screen or sorry, any type of lock screen that sends you, uh, gives you any type of uh, compliment is trying to um, love bomb you. But what I am saying is it's also a tactic to get you out of your regular, to get your walls down, right? To get your guard down so that he can get access to you easier. Because the more you start thinking like that, and like I say, you can become addicted to all of the love bombing because it makes you feel good. 
right? You can become addicted to the validation because it makes you feel, feel good. And then you all of a sudden you find yourself in a relationship or not even a relationship. You find yourself having sex with a guy you don't even really find attractive or like simply because he spams you with compliments. Can you imagine that? Have you ever been with a guy? Tell This is where we have to be honest. Be honest. Have you ever been with a guy who you weren't really that attracted to, but you love the fact that he would love bomb you and give you validation? Love bombing can be an easy, easy way for these guys who aren't even that attractive and aren't even that interesting to get inside your pants. And like we've all admitted, I'm glad we admitted it because that's how we grow is by being honest about who we've been and who we are, is that it is possible to find yourself in a relationship or giving access to yourself to a guy who you're not really attracted to simply because he's giving you a lot of compliments and validation.